What is going on guys? My name is Baron or Developer B and welcome back to episode 20 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to make inventory menus and let's go ahead and get right into this. So pretty much what this episode is going to be is it is going to show you guys how to create an inventory and create some icons using items as icons to do certain things or functions. So I'm going to do a really basic function for you guys and you guys it may be a little bit of a vague description but it will make a lot of sense as we go through this tutorial so just stay tuned for that so pretty much what we are going to do is create a menu command which is going to save a location for where we want the icon to teleport us to and then the menu listener which is the main is the main listener class that is going to be doing most of the work for us and we have this config and i didn't create my own config manager i just used this basic config because i felt like it was easier and we didn't have to do anything with a custom configuration so we're just going to use the basic one so we're done with that class and let's go ahead and go into our menu command and pretty much what this is going to do is save the location of the icon that the player will be teleporting to, which is a little bit of a flip on words, but I'll explain it later. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and say plugin.getconfig.set, and we're just gonna say hub.x or hub.world. And you guys may have seen this in the last few videos, and actually in warps, we save a location like this. So that's not the last episode, but I did it in episode 13. So if you guys have not checked that out, please go ahead and check that out. You guys will not understand what I'm doing in this episode. And make sure that you have probably watched all the episodes before this because this may seem a little foreign to you if you have not done so. So I'm going to actually go ahead and go through and do all this because it is a bit boring to watch. So I will be right back. All right, guys, there we go. And this is just going to go ahead and save the player's location to the hub, which is going which is going to be where the function is teleporting us to. And then we are going to go ahead and send the player a confirmation message saying you successfully successfully set the hub location. So this is kind of like a set spawn command in a sense so it's just going to save the player's location and then send them a nice message so now that we are done with that that's pretty much actually it for this command and now we are going to get into the main part of this episode where we go ahead and create these different things so let's go ahead and get right into this we are going to go ahead and say at event handler and this is actually going to be an on join command and we are going to make this like a strict hub plugin if you guys don't know what a hub plugin is it's pretty much the main server or a lobby where you can go into other servers is servers like hypixel and mindplex have a hub system so if you don't know what a hub system is i recommend you guys go check out those servers the ips are mc.hypixel.net and mindplex.com so if you guys want to go over there i'll have these servers in the description if you guys want to go check those out but this is where you can get an accurate representation of what i'm doing and it is a better it's a better explained version of what i'm doing this is just one of the most basic forms of that so pretty much here we go we are going to set the player variable up and this is just going to track whenever the player joins and we are going to actually clear this player's inventory so we're going to clear their inventory of any items and we are going to create a new item stack and this is going to be the menu item and it is going to be a compass because most most servers use a compass as their kind of menu and it is a really nice item to use kind of like a navigation thing so it is nice so let's go ahead and set up this meta and we did this in episode 10 i believe i'm not really sure but it is the customizable item stacks episode so we are going to set the display name of this item to be chat color dot green plus chat color dot bold dot two string and we're going to call this hub hub menu and then we can space that chat color dot reset plus chat color dot gray. Oops, 
I don't know why it keeps entering. It, it keeps like pressing enter for me and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing it. But anyway, we are going to say right dash click. And that will signal that you have to right click this item. Most of the other servers that use this menu have that little signal right there. It's just useful and it looks kind of nice. So now we can go ahead and create the lore of this item and pretty much it's just going to be directions and we're just going to say um, right click to open the hub menu. Pretty simple, pretty basic stuff and we should be good right after that. So now we can just go ahead and set the lore to lore and set the meta to meta. Make sure to do that or else none of this will work. I used to have problems with that in the past, but I figured out that I was not setting up my meta or anything. So let's go ahead and go into the player's inventory and set an item. And this is going to set the item to a specific slot in the player's inventory. So it goes by index. So you start with the number zero as always. So we are gonna put it in the first slot, which is zero. And then we're gonna put menu in there. And whenever the player joins, it's going to clear their inventory and always have menu as the item. So there we go, that is our first listener of many. We're gonna have a few more. And this one is going to be the interact event, which we actually did in the last episode, I believe. Yes, the signs episode. So it is going to be similar to that. And here we go. So we're gonna check if e.get action equals, and we're gonna have a new action in here. And this is going to be right click air and we are going to want to check for this and we are going to want to check for action dot right click block and what that little these two little things are if you don't know i don't i haven't really explained it but if you don't know what that is it's an or symbol so we're saying if this is true or this is true so only one of these have to be true for it to work and an and and which is this sign means that both of them have to be true for it to work so if you don't know that's just a little bit of java if you haven't like looked at it i recommended that you looked at it but if you don't know what that is i just explain it so if it is right click air or right click block then we are going to set a player variable and after we set this player variable we are going to check if the clicked the item in their hand is a dot or it's player dot get inventory dot get item in main hand if the type equals the material dot compass so we're going to check if the item in the player's hand is a compass and if it is then we are going to go ahead and create an inventory so here's the inventory and we did this in inventories where we created an inventory so you guys should know how to do this it's pretty simple the inventory holder is going to be null and we're going to make nine slots so this is going to be a small one and then it is going to be called hub menu and there we go and now we can just say player.open inventory env and we are done with that so there is the interact and now we are going to get into the more in-depth listener which is a new listener that we have not used yet and this is going to be an inventory click event. And what this click event is, is it pretty much triggers whenever a player clicks an item inside of an inventory. So it's not just an item, but any slot. When a player clicks it inside of an inventory, it will call this particular event. So let's go ahead and check for some things. So we're gonna say if e dot get click, oops. If e dot get current item, dot get type equals oh and also we forgot to do something important so we're gonna keep that blank right now don't worry about that actually just go ahead and put material dot diamond block and i'll show you what we're doing in a second so let's go back up here we actually have to create an item stack and this item stack is going to be our icon for our hub to teleport to our hub so we're going to create a new item and it is going to be a diamond block and we are going to have the meta and we're going to equal it so we're going to set our meta and we're going to set the display name of this 
icon. We're going to make it chakalor.aqua because that's a cool it's a cool kind of icon. And we're going to call this teleport to hub like so. And then we are going to have an array list called lore and we are going to set the lore saying what this does and pretty much this is going to teleport click to teleport to the server's hub like so and we can just say meta dot set lore lore and item dot set display name oops not set me item meta meta you get gets kind of confusing after a while but there we go and now we can go ahead and say imp dot set item and we're going to set this to the middle uh, middle slot which is four and the item and then the item will be in there and the first thing that we are going to do in this inventory click event which i almost forgot is we are going to e dot set canceled to true and we can actually do this in here we don't want to we don't want to cancel every single item that goes in our inventory pretty much what that e.set cancel true does is whenever you click an item it'll bounce back into the inventory so you can't move the item around and that's pretty much what that does so that's how servers do that is they just cancel this inventory click event in certain things so we are going to check if this current item is a diamond block and we can actually surround this if e.get inventory i get name dot equals hub menu then we can actually surround that in that and then it will be more specific so the only time we will be able to cancel this is if a diamond block is inside of the hub menu menu so now let's go ahead and do some more stuff which is going to pretty much make this all work so we are going to cancel it and we are also going to say player player equals player of e.get who clicked and we have to cast this because e.get who clicked is a human entity is not a player so we have to cast it and as you can see player is a human entity right there it says extends human entity so it in fact is a human entity now let's go ahead and teleport this player to the hub so we're going to actually say player dot close inventory and we are going to player dot teleport to a new location and this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy thing so I'm actually going to go ahead and type this out you guys should know what I'm going to do I'm pretty much going to go ahead and say plugin dot get config dot get oops go ahead and say bucket dot get world of plugin dot get config dot get dot get string of hub dot world and I'm going to continue this all the way through this location so i'm pretty much just getting the particular values and you guys should know how to do that from a few episodes so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and i will be right back and there we go so pretty much i just set all the values up hub.x hub.y hub.z hub.yon hub.pitch and we have those nice and ready to go so pretty much when the player clicks on this item it is going to teleport them to this location and is going to close the inventory so we are going to say send them a message actually we're going to say player dot send message chat color dot green and we're just going to say sent you to the servers hub or something and there we go so we are actually done with this plugin so let's go ahead and build it right now so let's go to it is actually called menus i could find it for a second menus and let's go ahead and go inside of this minecraft and let's disconnect actually and reload the server so there we go a little bit of an error i don't know what that is but let's go ahead and join and see what happens all right guys i made a simple mistake this actually said menu and i had to change it to save location so this is actually going to work now let's go ahead and build this i'm sorry if you guys copied that it's my apology but go ahead and build that and go into the game and exit out and let's go ahead and reload this now we are going to have a clean server and as you can see whenever we join we actually get this hub menu thing 
And what is that? Well, it is the item we actually created and it says hub menu, right click and right click to open the hub menu. So let's see what happens when we go ahead and right click this thing. So as you can see, the hub menu opens and we actually get a nice little thing right here and it says teleport to hub. Well, we can't do that yet because we actually have to set the server's hub. So let's go ahead and go over here and say slash save location. And this is going to set the hub location. So if we go inside of here, go to, oops, go to plugins and menus and config. As you can see, it set the hub up pretty simple. And if we go into this hub menu, it says teleport to hub and it will teleport us to the hub. So thank you guys for watching. That was a basic tutorial on how to do a menu, an inventory menu. Really, really simple and basic form of an inventory menu. If you go ahead and check out those servers, there are some examples for you guys so you guys can try and base something off of them. And it's really fun to do and you can be like, wow, I made something similar to Hypixel or Mindplex using menus. And you can actually do it. They may have no function and like not show everything, but you can actually create the descriptions and stuff with the stuff I taught you. So. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in episode 21.